Hello Internet, Big Dave here, and I am cheap. How cheap? Well, I'm so cheap that I only paid $2 for Arcadia. Arcadia normally retails for $5, and it was made by one dude who goes by the name Joshi with two Ys. Looks like he's gotten some help after the fact, sort of maintaining the game, getting updates out and things like that, but the original development, just one dude. So this is like... Uh, small indie development week here as we had trauma uh, last week and uh, we have Arcadia now this week this is a retro style shooter um, with madness involved it has gamepad support I initially tried it with a gamepad I don't know if I'm having some issues with my gamepad or it's the game itself so I had a little trouble I'm abandoning the gamepad I've played this game very little just enough to learn two things number one I had issues with my gamepad and number two this game is crazy uh, so yeah not much in the way of options uh, one interesting thing is it has a configuration utility that you can run and that utility would actually allow me to set the resolution in any increment I want so it wasn't constrained to any particular aspect ratio like you could set it to 1900 by 1900 or 640 by 1080 and uh, yeah it's pretty trippy pretty weird but uh, hey whatever uh, it was a nice little utility to have um, but it also has options within the game to make those adjustments as well a little bit odd but uh, I guess there's a little more freedom from an outside application. So we're going to give this game a try. We're going to get a, get a feel for Arcadia. I'm probably going to die a hell of a lot. Uh, but we're going to try this uh, charming little independent game. And uh, we're going to get a verdict on it a little bit later on. Here we go. Now I played in the casual mode and it kicked my ass. So I'm hesitant to play in the chaotic mode. But honestly... We're here for entertainment purposes, so let's go ahead and do it. You're not going to get a lot of talking from me as I am playing because it, it requires an immense amount of concentration. You will get a lot of grunting. You will get a lot of frustrated sighs and, uh, and other bodily noises. Here we go. So as you can see, you're, you're... As you can see, you're moving around. It's just sort of innocent. There's some things coming at you. And then all hell breaks loose. Uh, now, you, I'm using the mouse and the keyboard at this point, at this point to control, that just, just get used to it folks, um, using the mouse and keyboard at this point to, uh, to control it, um, you don't want to get too close actually to the sides because things will just sort of spawn in from the sides, the longer you stay alive, the more powerful your weapons get, and you do have this little smart bomb, uh, which can come in handy, right there, and as you can see now I got double, uh, double guns, whoa, and uh, I have a certain amount of the smart bombs, and uh, this is almost a, this is about as long as I have ever lived uh, in this game. <laughs> whoa! And uh, it, whoa! Damn it! My finger was on the smart bomb, and uh, it's actually it's pretty cool. Um, it, it, at first, the game seems ungodly fast, uh, but the more you play, uh, the more your mind, your head, your body, whatever, uh, it seems to adapt. Oh, there it is. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Three lives, there you go. You see my score up in the upper left-hand corner, that is 21,325, uh, 21, and that's essentially pretty much all there is to it. Beat your score, uh, try to get better every time, try to get further. It's it's a um, theoretically infinite game. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what you got. You can continue the game from here, it will reset your score. Um, and yeah, that's it resets your score. <laughs> you continue the game. Um, the only real plus to continuing the game is just you don't have to go back out to the menu. Okay. And uh, ooh, you will, um, again, uh, this this is what this game has to offer. Um, it, it, it is one of those, you know, hard retro style games uh, that benefits a lot from playing it with, with folks you know. Uh, with friends, with uh, you know, having a community of people. There are leaderboards, online leaderboards, um, and and like I say, it, it seems really fast at first. But the more you play it, the more you actually. Oh, come on, no, no fair. Okay, so as you can see, not a great score that time. But but as you play it, it does get it, your your brain adapts to its speed. 
Um, it's very, very fast, though. It has drawn a lot of comparisons to Geometry Wars. Geometry Wars is a game that I will be, uh, I will be making a video about at some point. Um, but you know, this game stands on it on its own for this moment. Uh, I know Geometry, Geometry Wars has a very similar basis, although it is uh, said to be uh, the most mind-blowingly colorful experience that one can uh, can have without drugs involved. So uh, let's check out the uh, pivot mode. Haven't seen the pivot mode. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. I am stuck. I am here in one uh, spot. So in pivot mode, I can't move. That's interesting. Okay. But I have this cool nifty little what? I have this nifty little three shot. That's pretty cool. Okay. Those pink ones split up into uh, multiples. Wow. Okay. So I'm somehow worse at that. Uh, yeah, we'll just give up on that one. Uh, time attack. Uh, it's... Okay, there's a timer. Counting down, and I guess it's just live as long... Live as long as you can, and there, there you have it. <laughs> so your time seems to stack. Uh, so... These little ships... Mm. Your time seems to stack, so each life doesn't reset your time. You're going for a total time, it would appear. And uh, I'm having a little bit of trouble. Uh, aiming with the mouse. Uh, I don't know that I would really be doing any better with the gamepad. Uh, but, oh, crud. So, uh, yeah, 20, uh, 20 seconds there. Let's, let's, let's try that again. Let's, let's try to beat my best. My 20 second best there. Alright, bring it on. Oh, I got my smart bomb off, but just not. Now, some of these are, like, intelligent. They actually dodge. Whoa. Well, of course, they all seek you. Oh, there we go. Oh, I only had that really fast one for a few seconds. I like that. Oh, I confused them. My little stutter step confused them. Okay, so it seems like these are bouncing around. That's cool. Oh, we're shattering our previous record. Oh, now I got the three shot. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, they bounce off of the ships. How do you kill the ship? Oh, okay, you have to hit them on some other side. You can't hit them on the underside. There we go, 51 seconds! And I still have this last life. And it looks like I get a little bit of a penalty uh, for dying. But it didn't send me all the way back to the uh, first weapon, so that's cool. I wonder when those bounce off, I wonder if I can get hit by those. It wouldn't be a hard as nails game if you couldn't, right? Okay, so it's a minute and seven seconds. I guess I picked up some extra lives along the way. Um, I'm not sure about the mechanic there. It seems like my gun is downgrading, so maybe uh, for every level of, of, of uh, gun, you get an extra... I'm not, I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't... I just can't explain to you the, the, the intensity uh, of, of playing this game. I mean, it's just... When you really get going and you're like, oh, you know, you're, you're really, really doing well and you're feeling it, and you're, you feel invincible. And that's kind of how I feel right now, but I know something is going to pop up out of nowhere and kill me, as it so often does. But, man, we are doing great in terms of, uh, whoa, uh, that's one of those cases where you don't want to get too close to that edge because something will pop up and something will take you down. I'm talking about this game like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, okay. Wow, I cannot believe... This is just... I've shattered my previous survivable uh, survivability uh, record here. That's cool. I mean, this is just... And this is... It's so intense. As you get further and, you know, you don't want to die. You don't want to die. You, you want to keep going. You want to keep... You want to keep shooting. You want to keep... You want to keep living. You want to keep pushing that time up, up, up. And it's just... There's a there's an addictive there's a retro addictive 
addictive factor to this, and I, I don't know how I'm continuing on. I mean, there's obviously something I'm doing within the game that's allowing me to get more lives, um, but I don't know what it is. Um, the mechanics and, and, and the particulars of this game and how it works are not adequately explained um, anywhere. Uh, so this is a blast. I mean, let me tell you right now, I'm, I'm having an absolute blast with this game. Um, is, it, is there longevity here? P perhaps not. Um, I, I would imagine that there's longevity if you can get yourself involved in a community uh, which makes a point of trying to trying to better themselves um, when it comes to this game. You know, trying to be the best um, like no one ever was. Uh, but, oh, that was... Wow. That was very bad. So, 2 minutes, 55 seconds. Oh my god, that was just... I blew away my 21 seconds. <laughs> oh, man, and this game is just... It, it, it's wonderful. I mean, that's that's the best word I can use for it. We'll play it just a little bit longer here. Um, just a little bit more fun here. And uh, and we'll move on. But, oh, goodness. Y'all get away from me. But, but this is just a fantastic little game. I mean, it normally retails for five bucks. I think that's a pretty reasonable price for what's offered here. I mean, if you like this, if you like this sort of highly skilled, uh, skill-based, very unforgiving sort of, uh, sort of a game, if you, if you were a fan of Asteroids... <laughs> as a kid, um, or as I'm told, if you like Geometry Wars, um, this is a lighter version. I've heard a lot of people who have problems running Geometry Wars uh, run this game very successfully, and if you want that same sort of retro experience that Geometry Wars offers, uh, this game does offer that. Again, I haven't played Geometry Wars yet. It is on my list, and it will be played by me uh, for, this sh uh, for this channel in the very near future. Come on, come on, ah! Uh. Wow, and it's the close calls, you just... You, oh. The close calls are just amazing. And so many things I keep doing, and I'm, it, it looks like I did them on purpose, but I guarantee you that I did not. I guarantee you that it was dumb luck. But I know the way this game is designed, and the way that games like this work, there is a, there's a point, somewhere in the distant, distant future, when, when it comes to me, there's a point where I would be doing that on purpose. I would be so accustomed to the way this game moves and the way the mouse handles and the way that everything functions that I would actually be making these jukes and jives that are just uh, spasms of my lack of, a, the, my, of my personal ability to control my hands and fingers. That These would actually be purposeful moves. I mean, right now, I, I, I'm, any, anything that I do that looks skillful is pure luck. But uh, I think you could get good at this game. You could master this game. Uh, you could really, really do great things with this game. And uh, I, I think it, for those who value high skill, uh, I think that this is a, an, whoa, an absolute must play. Uh, no question about it. Um, uh, so much so that I'm... So much so that I'm, I'm willing to give this game five bucks out of five. I mean, that... For what this is, that's even as those words come out of my mouth, that seems like a, a bit of a high rating. But it, it is. I try not to judge so much uh, when it comes to these games on what you're getting for your money. Moreover, uh, more than that, I'm trying to judge: Am I having fun? And I'm having so much fun with this game. It is a minute 52 seconds there. Uh, it, it's it's a wonderful game. I mean, it it's it lives in this small box. Let me put it this way: it lives in this small box, but within that realm that it lives in, it does so much right. It's not trying to be anything more than it is. It's a simple game that says this is what I am right up front, and it doesn't pretend to be anything else. And it just exists, and it does a damn good job of existing. I really have enjoyed Arcadia. Uh, big thank you to Joshi with two Ys for creating it, and uh, I would recommend you take a look at it. It's not going to hurt you. It goes on sale on Steam from time to time. Look into it, Arcadia. It is a good, solid 5 out of 5. It's not the deepest game that I've ever played, but if you like this sort of tough, challenging, retro-styled game, you will love 
Arcadia. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave, and as always, take it easy.